all right hey guys welcome back it's squad tv and today i have something very special for you guys today i have the hidden member the unlocked one the awoken one he is war itself chaos brought him forth from the depths of wherever he's from but yeah um he's a member of squad that you probably haven't seen before and he goes by the name of wargasm mr wargasm hey what's going on guys uh i know i've been a bit busy um i've had a lot of uh, schoolwork to be to do so i've kind of been behind the scenes and whatnot but I, i'm i'm a little bit freer now so expect expect a little bit more of me all right so yeah so it's e3 week uh hopefully if we get this video up in time and if you haven't already noticed destiny despite all rumors and leaks previously seen they have announced their major content update that's coming in september called the taken king um so today we're just going to you know look at the trailer we're going to talk briefly and quickly about what our thoughts are on the trailer and we'll also like to hear from you so don't forget to comment and do all of those things down below this video so how about we get started right away so we see a ship Destiny Adventure, The Taken King, Legendary Edition. Alright, so, guys, how crazy was that? That was, wow. Yeah, that looked like a very interesting um, video. Um, it really got me pumped, um, seeing it at E3 itself. Uh, the live stream, of course. I really... I really, I'm really looking forward to what they have to bring to the table in terms of things like the story. In um, the last, in on the initial release of Destiny, the story itself was very, uh, got a lot of criticism. But um, with the Taken King, they could fix a lot of the, the issues, they, they, our complaints the original fan base had, and the, even the ongoing fan base. They, they have, a, they have the opportunity to make uh, to fix a lot of the issues. Even from the story, you can tell that they, they put a lot of effort into the into uh, into the Taken King itself. All right, so um, if you haven't known or known us, 
we're day one players from Destiny. We've had the game since if it's been released. Pre-order it. Got it a bit late because of shipping, but yeah, we've been there since the first week, and we can say that we have seen where the progress Destiny has made growing as a franchise itself. It was good at the beginning when you know you're just getting to know it, and then became absolutely and completely became a grind fest. Like it was so awful, I had to stop playing at one point. Then we got our first piece of DLC, it made things a little bit better. Then House of Wolves came out and it removed a whole lot of the grinding. And then now I feel that Taken King is going to be coming out and it's going to be fixing a lot of these other issues that we had. So let's begin once again and do a quick analysis on the trailer. So, firstly, who is Oryx? Oryx is the father of Crota, am I right? Yeah, he is. He is the he's the supposed king of the Taken, which from the trailer it seems to be just the the races that we've known before, the Fallen, the Cabal. But um, it seems like he did some form of brainwashing on them because yeah, he captures them and, and brainwashes them. Even from the the trailer, it shows clearly the the, the Cabal is yeah. trying yeah. to escape the group. <laughs> And yeah, as you can see there, like they're the same enemies. They they just appear a bit white. I'm guessing, you know. Yeah. Say, there you go. They look like there there are quite a few all new enemies, as a matter of fact. Yeah, that, so that the centurion with fucking jetpacks and shit. Jetpacks. Yeah. So let me go back briefly. So we're going to take a better look at these enemies once again. So yeah that's oryx as you can see right there that's a cabal that came out of this weird time portal wait wait wait, wait. let's not just say it's a cabal just yet because that i've never seen that enemy before maybe it's a it's an evolved cabal enemy or maybe it's it's actually hive based on the the weapons that he's carrying who knows um i guess we just have to wait until the release or even um if on footage the footage that should be shown on e3 uh, later today is it um, sometime this week yeah. yeah sometime this week even um the the cabal with the jetpack looking wings he looks like he just might be a strike boss and not necessarily a a, a common enemy yeah this is more likely um in terms of content what are we supposed to get i think we're supposed to get two new planets um a new raid uh, uh, some more strikes and uh, a bunch of story missions right so i'm thinking that what happening is this is probably some souped out cabal taken boss for one of the strikes because something like this it, it's too what would you say high of high quality to be yeah. a regular enemy right, there's yeah. probably like a toned down version yeah, but yeah, yeah. If not, there is going to be a body just like this for one of the strikes. That right. is our he, opinion. He, he definitely has unique attacks from the trailer we've seen. Um, he does this this forward lunge thing that no other cabal does. There you go, that forward lunge. Um, even even the other enemies. Even I've seen the trailer show a, a, a hive enemy that I've never seen before. He looks like a knight, but wielding more of an, a, a glaive not necessarily a, a sword um, uh, yeah I remember seeing that one as well um, the enemies the thing about Destiny is we feel that there should be a bit more enemy varieties right um, and not just reskins and rehashes so that's something really big and we hope that we'll get to see even more of this in, during the Taken King so in terms of story that has been something that a lot of people have been complaining about it's always just been narrative based oh whatever killed my daughter or yeah. whatever yeah. could you go and kill him for me please or yeah, a lot of um a lot of the story itself was grimoire grimoire card based and yes um, most of the story depth was based on grimoire cards that aren't even included in the game right, if you don't know what there's actually no way to read it in the game and that's, yes. that's actually been a very big complaint of the community however um i think the house of wolves itself are not the house of wolves sorry the, the, house, take, of wolf, the, the house of wolves itself um fixed a lot of the, the it's it's narrative was a lot better than um the dark below and the original um the destiny storyline but now the the taken king has the opportunity Bungie has the opportunity to make the taken king what uh, what the original destiny 
in terms of narrative was was supposed to be um we will probably based on what we've seen and based on the unknowns um i think the, the stranger that we met in the original destiny might be might play actually a, a really big part in in this storyline that's that's coming I, I think we're we're actually in for a real treat in terms of the story but I've heard um the what i think also is ready. that earlier um there was like leaks and information about a different storyline that involves the crow i'm thinking that's what destiny should be and this should have just been along with the way to get in there so probably after the taken king we'll see more expansions like another expansion pack that involves two more dlc oh money shot let me pause real quick so yeah um we're going to see more so destiny is definitely getting better story and if you haven't already started destiny now would be the perfect time to jump in it's no longer grind fest there aren't much you know errors and glitches like one time you know that land cable that was so awesome that i missed but now would be a perfect time to get into it um in terms of new content once again we're going to have three new supers as you can see here this is a screenshot of the hunter super what's it the name of it yeah that's the that's the void bro void bow um the new the new subclasses that one thing I've, I've noticed about the subclasses from the trailers uh it seems like each and every one of the subclasses are are unlocked based on the story and that's that's actually really 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 interesting if you you've seen if you see each of the the, the clips that were just played um you'd see that the the supers are unlocked in in the cutscenes just like that that world um the the it, it definitely looks like a, a force lightning type of things um I'm really interested to see the, the the dynamic of how the supers work, um, especially in in the Crucible. The Crucible has always been a place where um, where balance has always been an issue. However, um, I think we these new supers have the ability to maybe balance it out a bit. Then the, the Titan supers have always been a little bit uh, lackluster for the Crucible, but now we have a ranged attack for the the, the Titan. They have this blade dancer vibe where they can run around the, the map yeah. and just like wreak havoc and yeah this is really I, i'm really looking forward it's to getting that. there but to me it's still a bit unbalanced because think about it warlocks can still revive themselves yeah it's it's so it's getting there in terms of that but it's still a bit op on some balance issues um, uh, the, the balance issues yeah, they'll work themselves out in time um However, we're, we're, I'm really looking forward to seeing what what, we, what these new supers and what the abilities bring to the table. Um, I've have seen the the loadout for the the new subclasses. Um, the hunter subclass, the hunter void subclass, seems like a strictly um, support subclass. So also, oh, it's not really um, yeah, it's like not really titan offense. based offense. Yeah, or it's anything. not offensive. It's, I'm not saying well. It's not particularly offensive. Uh, the grenade is like a wall, a wall thing that it it blocks. It it seems like a, a zoning grenade. Um, I see. The the melee is more of an. It's, it's it actually gives the ability to evade stuff. I like that's really cool. Um, I hope it's really balanced because the ability to evade is has already been. Um, Blink is already given. Blink itself is, has already giving the hunter uh, the ability to evade very very well as well as warlocks can't forget well those warlocks, warlocks um, um there was a scene let me continue you know then titans got them mill near <laughs> um the titan the, i'm really looking forward to the titan supers um and he gets the fucking he gets his super on mercury the close oh, oh boy this is this is looking for i'm really looking forward to see what the uh what the story has in in store for the subclasses uh is it going to be like a mission you go on Kate six sends you to the to mercury and says hey go get that hammer and you're gonna go get that hammer and, and pummel some some hunters in the crucible <laughs> um but yeah i really i'm really looking forward to the new subclasses in particular even if they even if they uh they didn't really adjust 
the other subclasses to be more a little bit more balanced. The the new subclasses definitely you'll see a lot of play um play time just for fun, not necessarily in terms of the aggress in terms of our offensivities, but just how fun they look. The the Titan supers just they have both a melee and a ranged attack. That's that's nasty. Um, if it's a one hit kill like the Blade Dancer, we expect it to be very offensive in the Crucible. Um, we just have to wait and see. We we really really this really can be something very very cool. Another thing. Look at that gear. Yeah, the, the that's what we wanted to talk about next. The yeah, gear, <laughs> the like gear. That that hunter cloak looks so fucking amazing. It's a wolf, like a wolf cloak. Jeez. It also looks like I don't know if you can see clearly, but on the back it would appears to have what appears to be the iron yeah. banner tree. Oh, I didn't even notice that. That looks like the iron banner logo right there. Um, yeah. So, so probably is this, this is new iron, iron banner, banner cloak gear. thing. Oh. Um. In terms of gear, I've liked I liked how they did it with the House of Wolves, where now you can ascend your gear, so that makes um, older gear more relevant now. So that allows there to be a little bit more diversity when it comes on to your gear, because previously, if you started day one, the best gear in the game would always be raid gear. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's. True. Everyone looked the same because they had the best armor in the game, which was the raid gear. But now you can have anything you want, ascend it, and hopefully you can max out your level from that. I uh, haven't been playing a lot recently, but there is way more diversity in terms of armor now. Me and the whole of my fire team and squad mates, we don't all look the same. Everyone looks different. You have your Trial of Osiris gear, you have your Crucible gear, you have um, your Prison of Elder gear, you have your Raid gear, plus your Exotics, and your common Vendor gear, and all of those can possibly take you can they take you to the max level yeah if everything that's every legendary item is ascendable now so if you have your day one um comedian or if you have your day one what's that hand cannon you love so much uh, red nine red hand nine. no not the red hand the the devil you know yes the devil you know uh i love that hand cannon so much but i don't have it on ps i have it only on xbox um, I really love that hand cannon, but now you can ascend that hand cannon to 365. It it's just it's the little things, and that's why at the beginning of the video we said that um, in the beginning the it seemed like much of a grind fest, but now it's probably it's probably it was probably done so that um, newer players wouldn't have to fight as hard because that would be a very big turn off. But at the same time, it's 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 very encouraging to know that you can finish or you can start and reach to the point that other others uh, are very close to that point without having to kill yourself and it's 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 a, it's a very good initiative oh shit crota no well, not crota oryx <laughs> oryx oryx looks oh that new knight um that's what we were talking about earlier there's a bit of variation to oh, the enemies now. that's the enemy i was talking about that doesn't look like a cabal enemy he Let's like he see. moves like one but is he one look at is is look at what he's carrying unless that weapon itself is not really a cabal weapon but he he doesn't look like he looks like a cabal enemy but at um, the same time he doesn't look like a the cabal thing enemy. about it is he walks or moves similar to, to valas the arc right yeah he does where he walks with a big hand cannon holding his two hands so um at least they're using variations more frequently now even if there are reskins i i really like that they actually look very different I don't mind um I don't mind the different look of the as long as they the mechanics of the games the the the, uh, the mechanics of the strikes and of the raid is different and not the very crota thing that just like you just run cuz crota the crota raid was always inferior to to the vault of glass. The vault of glass required a lot of teamwork and planning the crota raid was something was you the crota raid was solo. more run and gun. Yeah, you can solo the There the wasn't much raid. challenge to it. It was just as long as you have good shooting skills, you could easily go through crota but as in the amount of teamwork and coordination it took to play the vault of glass even now at level 34, it can still be problematic playing the vault of glass if you don't have that coordination. Yeah, well, that's true. The, but now I really another thing I'm really actually hoping for that they actually buff the levels for the the, the existing raids. I'd love to do Vault of Glass at level, level thirty four. Yeah, I'd really love to do it at level thirty four. Um, even with new mechanics like 
I don't know, just new mechanics, even the Crota raid with new mechanics. Um, the, 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 the Prison of Elders was ex excellent in concept, but I actually haven't played the Prison of Elders in what? A few weeks, you know, probably. I haven't com to I haven't co totally completed it. Like I, in the first week, I I wrecked I, I wrecked it with all my characters. The second week, the arc burn on Scholas was very very difficult, and I didn't I, w I didn't have a team that was very prepared. Um, so we we had to stop at level thirty five. I did level thirty four though. Um, this week was solar burn again, but I just didn't feel it because it's something. It the novelty of it wears off very very quickly. It was very, it was very cool in concept, but it it wore it wore off very quickly. Um, another real thing now, the big question that we have right now is uh, how 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 do the the existing players feel about the the, the pricing the, the pricing scheme? Like, <laughs> considering this is our destiny is a game, right? You already paid sixty to eighty dollars. Um, if you bought it when it was like pre-order special on PlayStation, it would have been $80 and it included the first expansion pack. That was a deal because that would have meant that you got the expansion pack for $20 cheaper, which I should have probably done. But instead, I bought the disc, pre-ordered and got my Vanguard Armory that I barely even use and then went on to buy the expansion pass. Um, that expansion pass is what, $39.99? Yeah, $40. $40. And you get two expansions. Keep in mind to me, these expansions were not worth that forty dollars. These expansions were probably worth twenty to twenty-five for them both. But no, this being a major content update, they are saying that what's the name of this again? The Taken King. Mm -hmm. The Taken King will be forty dollars for people who already own the game. So that's another forty dollars extra for more content. And keep in mind, they're more than likely. At the rate they're going, there's going to be two more expansions or three more expansions until no, next year. Yeah, that's that's probably what's going to happen. The thing with the Taken King, however, why I don't think it's the argument against the Taken King is is that it's forty dollars is too much for a DLC, and while it would be too much for a regular DLC, um, the Taken King is a, a major release. It's clear that they they brought a the fucking trailer to E3, a trailer to E3. Yeah, but for a DLC, not, that's not necessarily something that many companies The do. thing about it is, if you're going to charge $40 for a DLC, think about other games that um, do expansion packs. These expansion packs, think about Skyrim's expansion pack. Think about Final Fantasy XIV Heavensward expansion pack, or something from Knights of the Old Republic. These expansion packs always add a lot of value. Like, almost as much as the original game itself right that's right the amount of content that we're getting in the taken king would be two new planets an unreleased amount of story missions and gear gear um, a new raid um and probably like two strikes two or three strikes this is not confirmed yet by bungie but unless we get more information that justifies that we're going to get almost as much content as we did when Destiny was first released, then that forty dollar price tag is definitely too steep. Even if you get more gear. Now, the, the other, the other thing is, um, original players are complaining that uh, they're going to have to pay forty dollars for the expansion, while new, new people players, can just buy pay sixty dollars. They'll get Destiny, the first expansion pack, plus this new expansion all for sixty dollars what's stopping a person from trying to go out there and selling their copy of destiny for like so let's say 35 to 40 dollars if possible and then just adding the extra 20 25 dollars on it and getting this 40 dollar expansion for basically 25 because it is it is going to be sold as a disc there is even going to be a collector's edition so i think that's something that they really need to check out probably if anything if you're a current destiny player and you already have the expansions because they uh, know you have the expansion they have a database and you're able to check this thing out if you already have it let's say they could do a discount where you get the taken king for like 20 dollars. that would have been perfect well i don't i'm not sure i don't think they'll do that um again we'll really have to look at the price the the size of, of the content itself that looks, <laughs> that looks so cool. He's having a nerd guessing. <laughs> Should change his name. Um, but yeah. 
the unlimited power. There's there's definitely um I, I'm not really I don't really have a problem with with pricing. I just have a problem with my value the value for money and I I really hope I really hope they 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 bring that forward even though some of those locations are like if that's the case, we can have friendly locations. There's a few things on the shot we just coming, Guardian. Here. You got his attention. Uh, so. And there he is himself. Oryx in more glory. It seems he looks somewhat of a vampire, I guess. <laughs> he looks like a, a, a wizard. A wizard. He a wiz like he's wizard. a mix of all of the hive. He, he he's looks. a mix of the wizards, Crota. I don't know which one has wings, but none have none have wings. He looks like a knight. He looks like a, a wizard with wings. A um, wizard knight with wings. Looks like a wizard with wings. Um, so we, we'll, I guess we can bring the video to an end now. Uh, yeah, we'll call it wraps right here. Um, Destiny the Taken King should go this September, so if you're a Destiny player, uh, you should probably check it out. If you want to play with us, you can add us on the PSN. Steals of our work, um, nobody and wargasm underscore bnr34. Yep, that's right. So, until next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Comment, subscribe once again. Product not completed. and yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you around, guys. Get the complete destiny adventure, the Taken King Legendary Edition.